Hi, it's Robbie, and I'm in my kitchen window where all the hummingbirds feed, and of course, they don't know what I'm doing now, so they're probably going to take off. I want to show you the rig I've got set up and what I'm doing. This is my kitchen, and this is like a breakfast nook. And I've got some plants, and I can put the plants in the window. And then I've got the hummingbird feeders here. Now, understand, this is not the only hummingbird feeders I have. They, I've got them, you know, they're in the garden, they're out on the deck out there, and there's different places I have feeders. But here is some place where I can enjoy and look out the window while I'm making dinner and see hummingbirds. But I wanted to have you see where I'm setting up the cameras, and I'm probably going to do a few more. I have one wise cam sitting on that. You go, what the heck is that? Well, these are magnets, and these are actually window cleaners. But because the magnet is so strong, as you can see, let's, let's take this off. This is just a rod, that, a tension rod that I can put here and keep the screen from blowing it. So see what's going on here? I don't know if you can really see it, but what it is is these things stick to the window. So let's go back in for a minute. Don't want to lose my phone out the window. So this is on one side, and then you've got the magnet on the other, and I have created hooks. So I've got this fancy little garden design out there, and I've got some hummingbird feeders on it. These are the dots I make. This one's just a suction cup. This one's got a clothespin. That one is a tote lid that's been cut out. It was a swing, but they weren't using it, so I changed it to hold dots. And this one is also another garden design that is attached to the magnet that's there. See the magnet? This is the old-fashioned ones. And so again, it's really strong. And those cameras, now this is a wise cam, but you can use anything. You could use a Hero if you wanted to, are so light. And this is metal. This actually came with these window cleaners. You were supposed to scrape the windows or do something with them, but I actually attached it to here. And it's, since it's metal and the wise cams have a magnetic base, it sticks to that. So it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to blow out. And of course, it does have to be plugged in. So it is plugged in there. So that one is there. Now the other one is the fun one. This, this one is, Gary's already ready to change it. I knew he would be. All right. So we're looking out the window there. See that? Now that is a pole that Gary put out there. It's a metal pole, probably electrical pole. And that holds my regular camera I put out there when I go live or if I'm going to tape or do something, a video. But I wanted to put a camera out the window, which you can see the wire goes into the kitchen window there. Now, how I was going to do that without running all the way down there or dropping anything, I came up with a funny idea the other day. That is a, let's say a vitamin jar. See the white jar? That's a vitamin jar. And I screwed the top on, but on the bottom, I made a hole. So it, it just slips over the pipe. I hope you can understand what I did. Now, the reason I did it that way and not backwards, you know, take the bottom, the top part of the container off, the, let's say the bottom and jar, take the top off and then turn it upside down, was because the bottoms aren't completely flat and I needed to put a magnetic or a metal base that sticks on with a sticky glue and I needed a flat surface, and it just so happens the lid is flat. It's perfect. So I made the hole on the bottom, and then with long tongs, I can reach out that window, reach that pole, and drop the jar on with the camera securely attached to the top by magnets. Now I can adjust the camera by moving it around. All I have to do is look on my phone, see if I don't like it, and then with the long tongs, there, it's actually a pickup thing that if you drop something you don't want to bend over, you can use that. Well, it's long enough, it goes out. My arms are long enough to reach. See what I can do, and then of course, I just have it there and it's just plugged in over there. Now it's out the window and it is a little tilted, but it works, it's working perfect. So now you can see the hummingbirds that way. And I have one more wise cam here that I am debating if I'm going to put it outside. So that's how that is there. So now you can see the camera down there on the other side. I think you can just barely see it. They make a mess out of my windows. I'm forever cleaning it. And you can see the feeders and see how everything's attached there. And now you can see how I am doing 
Yeah, let's open the window a little bit. See? So I can reach from here, and this screen was cut a long time ago, and then it just is tucked in on the bottom with some plastic tote lids or plastic, and it just holds it in place, see? Holds the screen in place, and then I can swing it in, change the feeder. That's the feeder that the hummingbird built a nest on, right here on my kitchen window by my sink. And that's how it's all hooked up. And that's how easy it is. So I'm running three Wisecam right now. But that is how easy it is to set up. And that is exactly what you're seeing when I come out here or I film them. And I maybe get them when they're all coming in at certain times. And then I can do like a Q&A. But this is my setup. Now, don't be surprised. Gary's already thinking of making some sort of track that I can wheel my camera out. I don't want a whole bunch of stuff out the window. I told him to make me another pole and not touch my pole because right now that pole is working. It's holding the wise cam and that particular one is the model that can go outside. So it can rain on that camera. This one is the older model. That one's not supposed to get wet, though I will tell you I've got some outside. They've been out there for two years. They've gotten wet, not drenched, but wet, and they're running fine. And then see the black one? You can barely see it, but it's in the corner, and that's where I get this view. So I get this view of the hummingbirds when they're feeding here. That one's got a terrific view because it catches this feeder and catches the deck. It's very cloudy today, so you can't see much. And then this one gets them up close when they're feeding on the dots as well as feeding on these feeders and i'm still trying to figure out new arrangements for it you know changing things around i think i'm going to change a pole here this has got the black hummingbird here on the rod see but you can't see this feeder when i put it on there's no feeder there right now and if i get a, a hanger or a pole there i can raise it up maybe a little bit and then from that camera you'll be able to see but this is really fun and it is unique and I put out my own formula which is a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of water that's all you need you want to stir it up really good till it's completely dissolved that's why I like putting half of it in really warm stirring it up and then topping it with cold water or making it the night before either way works so I wanted to share that with you this is what's going on now this is new the pole's been there for a while, but the wise cam I put out there is new. And this one's fairly new. And I'll show you here. This is the disc that comes with the wise cam. And this is two pieces. Okay. This comes apart, and then you sandwich your window in between there. Now, what I'm going to do is stick this out like this. And then I'll be able to put a camera on this because this is metal. And that will be really cool. This comes apart, but I can't really do it with one hand. That's where your window will go in. Now, if you've got a double pane glass window, and I just so happen, I do not. It's an older house. But if you do, it will stick. But if you mess around with it just a little too much, it will fall off. So keep that in mind. You can put this on a screen door. You can stick this different places, and I've done it. And if you had a gazebo or something outside, and you want to put a camera out there, you don't even have to use both halves. If... Um, your gazebo is metal, it will stick this side because the magnet, this is so powerful, is on this side and this side. So only go on one way. You can't turn it because then you have it opposite. So you can use just half if you want, but that's the way it would kind of look, except this one is on that stand and this one's actually attached to that. So I've been thinking of putting this one out that window there and then I'll have my camera outside. I'm not sure, I'll see how I go. But this has just been really, really fun. I know so many of you always ask, how long did it take us to build up the hummingbirds? Once I analyze what they needed, which was water, and they've got the trees and stuff around and more flowers around, it just brought them all in. They need food. You, you know, I can plant a ton of flowers, but think of how quickly they're gonna go through flowers and take all the nectar out and the pollen. Once the pollen's gone, the pollen is gone. It will not regenerate new pollen. A new flower would have to open. Nectar, on the other hand, can regenerate if the plant is able to do that. If it's not designed to do that, then it won't. But they need more food than they can find. And this is not because of people not planting enough flowers. This is because of what they call weed abatement. And as you can see, they make everybody clear the hillsides. 
See how all the hills are clear back there and you see some big trees? Well, normally, if we weren't in weed abatement, you would have all the weeds that are native plants growing full of flowers. And that's one thing they don't have that much anymore. Everything's got to be cleared. And that prevents a lot of the flowers and the habitat that they need. So technically their numbers would cut, you know, it would be cut way down. But by helping them out, they come here, they fill up, and then they go out into the plants and they look for insects, they look for pollen and nectar, and then when they can't find enough, they come back. If they find enough, they don't come back. So I hope you enjoyed this little tour of how my cameras are now set up out my kitchen window. And this is just a joy. And if I open up the screens, they fly in and they go around. I prefer them not coming in, but I have set this area up with tool. So if they do come in, they can't go anywhere in the house. I drop the tool down, it's netted, and they would go out. So if I was working in here, I make sure the tool is dropped down and they would just zip by. But I generally keep this all shut. This screen also lifts up and then I keep it clipped. But just simple paper clips, the metal ones, and that keeps the screen from blowing around and it works. It's a crazy way of doing it maybe, but you know what? It works. It didn't take long and I so enjoy their company. I'm rolling up my window screen. Got a pole on the bottom, like a, just a, a metal tubing I found in the garage. Then I've got here just some wire I put here. Excellent, I've got it. And I've got a tension curtain rod that is here and that holds the pole up. Okay, look at that. So I, what I'm hoping to do is I'm going to try to fix this up for Christmas. This should be really fun. Just think, hummingbird ornaments that are alive. Now I'll fix it up for Christmas. I'm going to do stuff for the winter, um, put out some lights and stuff to keep warm as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Ask questions. I'm more than happy to answer as much as I can to help you help those hummingbirds in your area that are still there. And if they're not there, don't worry. Get through the Christmas and beautiful holidays we have now. Get your winter. Enjoy the winter. And then come spring, they're going to start heading your way. Believe you me, they don't all stay here. With that, have a wonderful day. <laughs> I tried to hold her good. She thinks I'm throwing her out the window. She's and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. I'm not throwing you out the window. <laughs> oh. Okay, anybody need food? You got a little bit left there. Oh, that one's empty. That one's empty. That one's got food. And that one's almost empty. Get all the empty.